here we are we're in Breda we are in January 2015 all the styles at a glance party girl chic uh, top seems to have a bit of an asymmetrical hem I quite like the trousers tapered at the ankle tapered into the waist mm. back when Breda was very adventurous look at that you get a stapler <laughs> you can create this another really simple easy pattern poncho with a bit of elastication Ooh, lovely color uh, the belt doesn't work I think a slimmer belt would be nicer I'm so glad these shoes are a thing of the past now because it looks like you've got duct tape around your ankles this is a jacket or a top that's got sheer sleeves some sort of an integrated scarf over here. Mm, somebody's looking fierce. And then the winter section. I actually traced out this jacket. I remember I traced it out when I got this issue. Never got round to sewing it, but I quite liked the futuristic looking funnel neckline. It's got some asymmetricity to it. Very futuristic oversized jacket. Mm. The integrated scarf thing. Skirt with some side panels over here. Nice. Oversized jumper. I really like the accent details on this coat. And a very rare spotting of maternity wear. This is actually quite lovely. And a nice shawl jacket. This one's got a 1920s vibe to it. And some really cute and adorable costumes. Oh my days. I also remember tracing this out way back in the day, but I never got around to making them because I realized that all of this sewing, patching these things together would be very annoying. There's all of these pattern pieces. I actually really love this style. This dress is very 50s style with an interesting sleeve option here. Oh, the line drawings. <laughs> Look at that. I actually think this is a much cuter version than the first one in the white. Proving once again that brown boots with brown belt and a brown bag, always a winner. I like how dynamic this skirt design is. You've used a traditional check which can look a little bit staid and boring, but add in all of these flounces and frills and it adds some interest to it. Love the styling. This is too much of carry in um, Sex and the City for my liking. And I just remember loving this look so much. That's why I actually traced the jacket and the trousers. But it's a little bit too matchy-matchy now that I come to think of it. Okay, so the skirt with the interesting weird side panels has been done with some color blocking. Not convinced that silhouette is the best. Okay, simple dress. Lovely, luscious fabric. And this is my style, isn't it? I like wearing a turtleneck underneath just about everything. I gotta say, a lot of these photo shoots are very exciting in this issue. There's a lot of dynamic things happening in the background. Oh my days, I love this costume. Look at this. This would take so much dedication, but this would be so cool. And who doesn't love a bit of ketchup? I think this is supposed to be a pillow or a duvet. This is actually cute. <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Oh, they even included Patrick. And then on the plus size, we've got a vest with an interesting center pass panel, as well as an asymmetrical hem. Hmm, that's lovely. Do you know, this issue was a bit way ahead of its time because this makes really lovely lounge wear. This is very similar to what we're seeing in a lot of the office wear stuff now modern take on the traditional breton stripe top interesting okay half pleated half pencil skirt and then a dolman sleeve top don't like dolman sleeves because you can't really wear a jacket very easily with them you have to wear a cape seriously though i don't think it's ever okay to wear ankle boots and show socks like this i mean just just tuck them in tuck those in hmm Parachute Parker. Oof. Oh, now this is lovely. Very classy, very elegant. There's just something about this big collar, long coats that are made in wool that is just 
so on point love it you know, a section on how to make some bag or add some tassels leading to the preview for March I want to make this jacket and this is it a lovely issue 2015 was pretty rocking